Hi, Cambly learners. My name is Lizzie Jane, and today we are going to learn some phrasal verbs related to family and relationships. Phrasal verbs are used by native English speakers very often, so they're important to learn. They consist of a verb and a preposition. Phrasal verbs can be tricky for English learners for different reasons. One, there are so many of them. Because phrasal verbs consist of a verb and a preposition, that means there are so many possible combinations and therefore so many phrasal verbs. This might seem a little bit overwhelming when you first start learning English. Another reason they are difficult is because they often have more than one meaning. Just one phrasal verb can have two, three, four or even more meanings. Let's take our example of the phrasal verb look up. This can mean to physically look up, but it can also mean to research something, perhaps online. For example, I looked up a recipe for dinner on Google. Don't worry, keep watching until the end of the video to get some tips on how you can learn and remember phrasal verbs. So let's take a look at some phrasal verbs you might use with your family or in other relationships. My parents brought me up well. Did yours? Here we have the phrasal verb bring up used in the past tense. Bring up means to raise someone or to look after a child until they are an adult. Our next phrasal verb is look after. This is similar to the previous one, but it's not quite the same. It means to take care of someone, but it could be for a short period of time and it doesn't mean that you're raising them. You might look after someone temporarily if they are unwell, for example. He looked after his nephew while his sister was at work. The next one is to get along or get on with someone. Here we have two different options and both of these have the same meaning. This phrasal verb also uses two prepositions. Do you know what it means? It means to have a good relationship with someone or to be close to someone. For example, I get along with my neighbours. I fell out with my friend last week. Can you spot the phrasal verb? Yes, fall out. If you fall out with someone, you might have an argument or a disagreement with them and you might even stop speaking to them. The next phrasal verb is grow apart. This means to gradually become distant or less close with someone. You used to be close to someone, but perhaps you don't talk anymore. It's different from falling out with someone as it's more of a gradual, natural process as opposed to falling out with someone and having an argument with them. For example, it's common to grow apart from school friends. The next phrasal verb is settle down. But what does it mean? Here are some example sentences to help you guess. I want to settle down with her. I think I'll settle down in England. If you settle down with someone, you get married to them or you commit to them. If you settle down in a place, you reside there. You live there ultimately. The final phrasal verb today is take after. If you take after someone in your family, it means that you resemble them in some way. It might be visually in your appearance or it could relate to skills or an aspect of your personality that you have. She takes after her mum. They are both lawyers. He takes after his grandfather. They look very similar. Let's recap the phrasal verbs we've learned today. We had bring up, look after, get along with, fall out, grow apart, settle down and take after. I know that phrasal verbs can seem challenging to learn at first, so here are some tips to help you out. Don't learn too many at once. Learning five to ten phrasal verbs per day or per week is a great place to start. This way you won't feel overwhelmed and you're actually more likely to remember them. Learn phrasal verbs that are the most useful to you. You could search a topic perhaps and learn phrasal verbs associated or related to that particular topic. There's no point in learning phrasal verbs related to work and business if you're not learning English for work and business. 
So think about why you're learning English and learn the phrasal verbs that you are more likely to use. Practice using them as much as possible. Once you learn a phrasal verb, create a flashcard, write it down, write down its meaning and perhaps even an example sentence. The example sentence makes it more memorable. Then try to use it in a conversation with a language partner or with a tutor or teacher. The more you use vocabulary, the more likely you are to remember it. Now, try to make some example sentences of your own and write them in the comments. I look forward to reading them. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.